as you all remember, we must have in, in our mind that the distance is going to be reduced. Very well done in that case, because Toritake maybe is one of the most, strategically speaking, uh, ways to recognize the sword way of thinking, the sword way to win a combat or a situation. So in that case, for instance, we have to consider many things, especially when we reduce the distance, how to super surprise the opponent. So reduce the distance is also very dangerous. As you may remember, as close we are from the opponent, danger it is, because as you always know, we also have to consider the secondary weapon. But in that case, just an isolated study, for an instance, if he is going to uh, stab me with a tsuki, I will choose a way to reduce that distance, reduce the my. So in that case, I'm using my arm here, actually, to give support to the mune, as we will do in another posture with a sote, with our hand, but I'm using here my own whole body, and I'm blocking his sword here. Now, for us to analyze completely this situation, if I bring my sword up, of course he will cut me. In many ways, with sote, without sote, he can come for ribs, we have here abarabonegiri, he can also cut, starting actually armpit, or the, the visceral area. I mean, I have comp I am completely vulnerable. So, to do that, I must be aware of his movement. So, once I do that, in my case, I have here also vulnerable his legs. I have here a very good cut that we call ageogiri, uh, the big cut, ascendant cut of the groin. And I have knee. So, when I come closer, I can actually choose those targets and cut him first. So I'm here really close to his elbow and now the part of the sword, let me change here for you to see, is that I'm near his hand and here the tsuba. So in a way I am protected. My hip is blocking his sword and my sword is already cutting, growing or in any case if I want a sunegiri also. And if I go for higher targets, in that case, so I'm here blocking, I'm going to reduce also with a very fast, fast cut, for instance for hands, so please don't take the hand out. In this case, if he blocks, I must be careful too. I have lateral arm on the lateral part of the blade anyway, and cut, raise or go for higher target as as well the neck. So in that case, again I have lateral contact with the blade and I have here neck. We have a diagonal kubigiri. So anyway, there is a, a safer way for us to neutralize that distance. Of course, as soon as I start moving, he will also start his movement. So if we are here, many students have doubts on if they were on Kao's son's position how to neutralize that dangerous situation. So in that case, he could turn around, me also. So we both will do a circular movement to uh, stay away from each other, to amplify the distance. That's why sometimes on Kenjutsu you see that study. So to do that also in a safely way, when I am here, he is aware that I can cut him, and I'm also well aware that he can cut me. So normally when we do that, we try to neutralize the movement of his arm, and especially the right hand. As you may know, the right hand is the one that directs the cut, the left hand is the one who sustains the sword. So we try to contact our both forearms, sometimes, while turning, and we push each other to do, to do that in a safe way. So in that case, that normally has a, a kind of strength competition. So it will balance the other first, of course, has advantage. Another very good study on the story take genjutsu strategy is I will try to conduce him to a trap. So for doing that, I must be able to think two steps three steps over him, in front of him. So I must 
any, in a way, predict his reaction. For an instance, uh, if I'm here, for example, I will apply a high Tsuki, forcing him to defend on Jodan. So, as you see, of course, my Tsuki won't, have, won't succeed, but I force him to actually uh, expose his forearm, elbow, and armpit. And that's exactly uh, my intention. So, from here, of course, with a very short movement, I can get those targets. Also, I can get visceral area. We have here like a dogiri or a chimonjigiri. And I also can come from uh, lower targets. It will depend on my velocity, of course, and his ability. But in that case, I'm conducing him to a trap. Uh, actually, we can do a lot of examples, depending, I can attack also uh, in a lower target, forcing him to defend down. In this case, as we have a very considerable distance, it will be difficult for me to reduce this. So, I actually will invite him to attack me. So, in this case, if I bring down the sword and I lean on my body, it's like I'm uh, confronting him. Uh, like daring him if he can uh, actually cheat me. And as, as you know, if I unwind the body, I reduce a bit the distance. So his sword now is completely able to achieve me. And that's what I want. So, uh, of course, if he attacks me in that case, and I defend highway, not highway, I can also continue my movement to reduce that distance. Then I can use the kashira to impact. I can from here come to a cut on neck with sote or also on the leg from behind to front. As you see, just by crossing, making an axe with my arms. The other way to surprise me and I actually invite him and make him believe that he can achieve me for an instance, if I do the tsuki, he goes for a higher defense. And now I start making him believe that he can cheat me. So if he attacks me, I move with him. And I cut off, elbow if I want, or even a sote, a gyaku sote tsuki. No tsuki, throat, or neck, or chest. So this is also a question of making him believe always that he will have advantage and he can control me. So again, when you see that movement, attack, when he moves, I enter. So, of course, I could do that and take the high target, or I can also do a more risky posture or a more risky strategy that will be based on really low base to ascendance to key. So in that case, from here, when he tries to move, I simply reduce completely the distance, so I'm almost touching him, and the sword comes from down to up, coming through mandibular arc. So uh, the dangers of Toritake is that when we have a free uh, training, in that case, is where we start developing uh, the idea of how dangerous it could be. So I must be able to reduce the distance at the same time that I must be aware that I have to also keep my distance away from him on certain techniques. So of course we can always use that circular movement that we saw here and in some other cases where uh, we are too close from each other we will use a technique called katanagami where we actually will force the forearms. Because here we have a very dangerous position, we both are very close to each other. The first one who moves in an inappropriate way is completely in a disadvantaged situation, lose. So from that time, before circulating, we also confront each other and the possibility of doing a, a balance between this advantage is to pushing each other way. So we come back to neutral position. 
here we go for another posture and then we'll start thinking in another strategy to win the opponent. So that's more or less the dangers of Torita, okay? And remember that when we have a short distance, our focus, our eyes can only see a reduced uh, limit to control it. So, of course, I must uh, risk myself for a good vantage on the strategy as long as I keep in mind also that if I do something wrong or if I'm not too fast, this advantage goes completely to the opponent. Okay?